Look, I even cut my nails with a video, cleaned them. Oh, are we starting now? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? We got a new product for you today. This is the Faction Motorsports SR20 throttle cable bracket for SR20 swaps. Very simple. Stainless steel piece with our brand laser engraved into it. Um, let's go see how this fits. So basically this was made, this was made for people who are swapping an SR20 into their, into their 240SX. That's, did, that's the general premise of this. It only fits S13 SR20s, as you can see here. This is one. So, wow, almost lost that nut. Always losing my nuts. All right, um, what I'm gonna do here to show you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect the uh, stock SR20 throttle bracket so I can show you what usually happens. So that would be a stock uh, S13 SR20 bracket. So that's what you would get on the motor if you were that lucky. So usually what happens is this. So now we got the throttle cable routed on the wheel and we're going to install it. It sits too high. Now this is a dual cam KA throttle cable. That is the only one you can use. You cannot use a single cam. Everyone kind of knows that, but just to reiterate, you cannot use a single cam. This is a dual cam throttle cable. So that's the first thing. You need a dual cam throttle cable. We sell them on our website, so you can buy one there. But anyway, this is the problem. So th this needs to sit in the middle of these threads. It obviously is not doing that. So what do you have to do? You have to bend a piece of metal and make a bracket. We already did that for you. It took us 10 years, but we finally made one. So now you can just take our bracket, use whatever whatever nuts you're using. If you have the OEM ones, the OEM ones, is, uh, I think it's a lock washer and a nut. We're just, we've just been using these so we can test fit all these. Bolt that on. Take your dual, dual overhead cam throttle cable. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna put that wheel up a little bit, slip it in, boom, done. It's almost in the middle of the threads too. Now, installing these are, is a little bit tricky. Uh, but basically just get this, get this down so there's no slack. Basically somewhere around there, that way when you hit the throttle, the throttle, it'll open the throttle body up right away. Then screw the bottom one on. Uh, also, I'm going to mention it, you should put Loctite on this. You should put a little bit of blue Loctite on these. Because if you noticed, we're getting rid of the rubber isolator here. We're not using that anymore. So I would definitely you know, try to keep these locked down. Put some blue Loctite on there, it'll be fine. With just a dab on both, both nuts. Okay, so you do that, and then what you want to do is you want to have someone sit inside and um, hit the hit the accelerator, hit the throttle pedal, and see the full range of motion. My right, Malcolm's going to get in. We're going to see if this if we got the full range of motion here. Right now it's bottomed out, and then we check the back where that hits right there make sure that hits when he's all the way down on the ground. So we got full range of motion. You should also, if this is the first time you're doing this, you should also take this off and check that the throttle body is opening all the way. Because a lot of times people will install throttle cables and they will not be open all the way. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this one's good to go. Just, like I said, Loctite. And then you, uh, you should be good to go. Now that we got the general idea out of the way, I've been doing R&D on throttle cables for the last day to two whole days. And I have finally figured out pretty much everything there is to know about these. Actually, this is probably gonna stay in here. But there's three throttle cables. There's a single, let me get my notes. Let's go get my notes. All right. 
So there's there's a single overhead cam, uh, 240SX throttle cable. That is 42 inches long. It's not gonna work. It can work, but your the cable is gonna look like this. It's gonna go right over your valve cover. And it's gonna be extremely tight and it's, it's pointless. There's no point to doing that. Just don't use that one. Then the S13 dual overhead cam throttle cable, which is this one. This is an aftermarket replacement one, but this is it. It is 50 and a half inches long. Then there's one more, obviously, the S14 dual overhead cam throttle cable. That one is 46.69 inches. So that one's a little shorter. We have not test fitted this on an S13. Uh, SR and an S14. We might do that before this video is done, but we'll see. Um, if it works, it works. You'll see it in the in the description of the part. But there's one thing I want to mention. So we were having a lot of trouble trying to use an OEM old OEM dual overhead cam throttle cable because we designed this product with an aftermarket throttle cable, which is, should be an OEM replacement one in mind. The problem we were having was the OEM one sat a little bit higher. We'll attach a photo in this. I took photos of them. But basically, where the mounting point is, sits a little bit further back on an OEM cable. Luckily, we have another 240 here. And I'm going to show you the situation that we ran into. Follow me. Dave. Dave always trying to get in the video. All right. So this is an OEM dual cam throttle cable, and this is obviously our bracket. So as you can tell, this, these threads sit a little bit further back than the other one. So what does that mean? That means this is bolting on the bottom, the very bottom of the throttle cable. So it looks a little odd, but it'll still work as long as you put blue, blue Loctite on there. It'll still work the same, but it looks a little odd. Me personally, I get rid of this and just get a new one because these are old anyway and they're probably stretched and everything else. So that's basically our warning to you. If you're using an old dual overhead cam throttle cable, you might have fitment issues, but you can still get the, uh, the new aftermarket ones. So that's what I recommend doing. Side note, while I was uh, doing my R&D with this throttle cable bracket, which took way too long, um, we found out there's another factor that can change the point of your throttle cable threads in the engine bay. And we found out that it's this piece. This piece is, it connects like this, and it is inside of the car. This is where the throttle pedal connects to the cable. You pop this into the throttle pedal, and it's like a it's a pivot. When you hit it, it pulls it back. When you let it go, it pulls it in. The throttle, the throttle pedal rests on this rubber piece. When you're not hitting it, it rests on this. The black car in the back that we saw, um, other than the height differences between OEM and the aftermarket cables, which is, I think is about a quarter of an inch difference, his was his was like way off. He was using a stock SR20 throttle cable bracket with a 240SX dual overhead cam throttle cable. It made no sense. So I took this off and we realized his was bent. This piece was bent. So that could happen from anything. I mean, that could happen from someone bending it before they put it in. That could happen from someone kicking something under there. Um, but you want to make sure that this piece, we actually have a photo of this too, so we'll include that. You want to make sure that this piece is 90 degrees. Straight up. If this is bent any which way, this, this throttle cable bracket probably won't even work. So you got to make sure this is good to go before you install this. And like I said before, I'm going to reiterate it. Um, we sell these cables. Just buy a new cable. That, that way you know the setup's going to work flawlessly. Um, but yeah. That's it. Nothing else to it. We uh, we put all these notes in the product information so you can check it out. I think these things are going for $35 right now. That's about as cheap as I can make them. So 
grab them while they're, while they're still that cheap. That's it. Bye.